times, fear is a sure bet. Oh. oh! There you go. Oh, of course. Yep. All I wonder right. if that's the mayor's people. I wouldn't doubt it. Hmm. Of course. Of course they're gonna take mm -hmm. over. Come on now. Bro, you can't be your new lord and taking L's like this. Yeah. Come on now. Come on, show the people what's up. Bro, he should be walking with his staff too, though. Yeah, no. Bro, do the whole Spider Man slide under the shield thing. <laughs> there it okay, is. There it is. Damn. Come on now. Come on now. Master Assassin Phoenix Shan. Come on yeah, now. Literally. Come on Can now. You guys? Come on now. Who are these guys that they have so much power over y'all, too? Come on now. Literally, Master Assassin. Come on now. Come on now. Thank you. Thank you. Come on now. <laughs> I mean, those shields are kind of shocky. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, Boba. Hey, shout out to the. Shout out to. Yo, who are these freaking ninjas, bro? Honestly, they're probably the Mayor's people. I would Most likely, it. yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We thought you. you was going away, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Over here, like Kanye. Ain't gonna happen. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> the back's a pop. Mm, okay. Come on now. Don't let him get away. I wouldn't be surprised if that's all Mignon in this suit. Yeah, I, it would be it's most likely a stunt double, but it would be so. It, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't put it past her. Yeah, because she'd be doing her own stuff. I do kind of like this aspect of these guys. Who the hell are they? What's their whole story like? Ooh, ooh, ooh. damn, damn. You don't circle, circle uh, cut, cut them off. Yep. Yep. They're most likely the mayor, the mayor's people. Yeah. Be like, oh, you didn't pay tribute, Ooh. so go kill him. Ooh. Ooh. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, you only need one. Yep. Thank you. Oh, I thought they were dragging him in. Well. Uh, that again to the pod. Yeah. Hmm. And so the healing pod. So they brought him back to the pod for more flashbacks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, what I'm assuming is that, like, if he takes any damage, it, like, really affects him. Yeah. Like, because obviously he's in, like, a super weakened state. He is. He's not... I don't even think he got to heal 100%. Yeah. Can we even see him take a major hit in Mandalorian? The last thing we saw was that he was just at Jabba's palace. Yeah. Getting dragged around by a little Tusken Raider child. <laughs> Who said you could slow down? Hey, yeah, right. Yo, his teeth mad white. Who, oh, Boba? Yeah. <laughs> mm. Is that, um... Hey, wait. What do you want me to do? Is <laughs> <laughs> this holes? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. It's kind of difficult to date with your hands tied. Oh, uh, you wanna, you wanna just untie? Mm. <laughs> I think we have some hard feelings. Oh. <laughs> it was Rody and Mad Lucky. Bro, he's just happy he finding them all. It's like a little treasure hunt game. Oh, they didn't untie them. Oh, they did. Okay. I mean, you know they can't run away, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Easy, youngling. Mm? Hey, bro, he could technically beat him, run away. Yeah. Dang. Dang. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> It's interesting though that they that they're actually adding the fact that you gotta dig for those things. Those yeah. Little casings of water. With this ankle chain and feed your leg to the watchdog. <laughs> oh, that you understand, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Sound like an insult. Yeah. You just call him a stupid idiot or some crap. I don't know. 
the heck is that? It's not. Uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, someone's gonna eat in, and I think it's gonna be the Rodian. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm, yep. Yeah. That's, yep. um, that's a creature. That is something. Oh, the freak is that? The freak is that? Yeah, that looks like a giant version of the other one. Oh. Oh, no. What is this? Oh, no. What is this? A wrestler, apparently. What the hell? A massive? No, that's the little oh, one. Oh, the thing. Bro. Oh. Ooh. Well, this poor little youngling. He doesn't know how to deal with this. No. Ooh. Oh. Oh, Ooh. like a punching bag. It's not fair that it has arms that could punch. <laughs> that shouldn't be fair. What, do you want it to not have arms? Yes. That are also legs. <laughs> ah, Lee. The freaking... Yo. Oh, my gosh. But now it might be, you know, like, he saved me. He's a friend now. Yeah. Because he obviously, like, gains their trust. Yeah. Ooh. That shot. <laughs> right? But the music. Oh. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I brought, Dad. Yeah, <laughs> right? So we brought back something better than water. That, that must have been that must have been something that was terrorizing them for a while then. Yeah. I mean like, my boy. <laughs> Trying to be like you, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Accepting now you're going to have some water. Damn. Dang. Like, you have to you have to listen to the ending, because that's how I got the Mandalorian theme for the first time. Mm -hmm. Was it the end? Was the end credit? It took to the last episode of Mando to do. Yeah, but that was just kind of like a teaser for this one. Yeah. Your thoughts on Book Boba? I got some thoughts. Yeah, it was made, like I feel like it was mainly a flashback episode. Oh yeah, kind of like episode. yeah, definitely like explaining some stuff. Which I mean, I think we need it. But I don't know if we need a whole episode, but I guess it's probably gonna be not just a whole episode. I have a feeling that every time we see this man going the back to the back the back it's to is going to be a flashback. Yeah. I just have a feeling that every single episode <laughs> and it's going to be flashbacks throughout the entire season. Yeah, like next episode, you know, we're going to see him training with the Tusken Raider yeah. and I mean, they're getting caught up almost to where we saw him. Yeah. So, it might not be for too long. Yeah, maybe like another episode or two. But we don't know how much long, we don't know how much time we, we that he's spent with them though. That's true, yeah. So, between Return of yeah. the Jedi and by, by when we saw him in The Mandalorian, that's, that's like... That's true. So... You know? Yeah. I don't know. But I want to know why he's, like, so... Like, in such a weakened state, too, that he has to, like, constantly go back to the pod. Maybe they'll show that in the, um... In flashbacks. In flashbacks. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's obviously something. Yeah. Like, he's sleeping in it. He, yeah, like, he sleeps any... in that, yeah. Any injury he has, he goes right back in it. Shoot, sleep and get your shower at the same time. Shoot, throw some soap in there, you know, some bubble bath. It probably got some weird kind of chemical thing. Like, yeah. that not only does it heal him, but uh, like, like it, it, it looks like it accelerates his healing, but helps him sleep. So, I don't know. Yeah, like a whole, like, it's like a sanitization station. Yeah, a therapy <laughs> station. I mean, it's... A it, wellness it, station. It's basically like hydrotherapy. Could be, yeah. Is healing his mind and his body yeah but so okay so what do you feel about the episode though i i, I mean i personally feel this is it was an okay yeah no, episode just being realistic like, like just being honest yeah. just being honest like if you guys really loved it let us know um I mean, we're still gonna watch it but oh, obviously <laughs> we're still gonna watch it it's star wars content yeah you know what i'm saying but it I, was, I, it's it gonna be hard not to compare weak. it to the mandalorian yeah it's a little weak it was a little weak for me Cause it, you know, like no, I was saying, I was thinking that like the whole time, I'm like okay, like when's this gonna like pick up? Pick up, yeah. Yeah, like it never really like picked up. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're gonna just take their time with it, cause 
how many episodes is this? We though? don't know. I have no idea. We're gonna have to research it and see yeah. if we actually have accounts for. Yeah. I think it'll end like early February. Early, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so seven episodes. Interesting. Yeah. I hate that. I hate all yeah. numbers. No, I don't. No, I, I don't hate I, the fact that it's. I hate the fact that it's an odd number. I know you do. <laughs> like either give me six or give me eight. Don't give me seven. But lucky number seven. Okay, fine. Give me ten did. or eight. Don't give me nine. You know, like it. I, I don't know. I, I hate know. odd. Hate I hate like odd numbers. Because like nine feels incomplete. It does. Like you, seven feels incomplete. Give me a perfect eight. You know what I'm saying? No, like seven. I'm okay with seven. But... I mean, I'm fine with it. It's whatever. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, no. I mean, like think about like go back to the first episode of The Mandalorian if you can yeah. really remember it. I, look, I'm gonna be honest with you. Rodriguez, his uh, his directing style isn't my favorite, if I'm being honest with you, because mm -hmm. some of his um episodes that he directed for The Mandalorian weren't really my favorites. Uh, are there multiple directors for this show as well, or I think it's only him. Mm -hmm. I could be wrong. Okay. Because what is the end credits? I I could be wrong. Don't quote me on anything I'm saying right now, but. Uh, we have in the credits here, we have, uh, it tells us, hold on, let me just mute this real quick. Yeah. Um, Robert Rodriguez directing. I think he's supposed to direct all of them, if I'm not mistaken, but it could just be this episode. I don't know. Yeah. But it says, uh, John Favreau produced, um. You know what I think it is? What? I didn't see Dave Filoni's name on it. No, he's there. He's oh, there okay, as an no, exec. He's there. No, he's there as an executive producer. Okay. He's there as a I'm producer. I'm like, I feel like he always adds a little something, you know. But he's also he's also a slow burner. Yeah, that that's also very true. Dave Filoni is a slow burner. Yeah, but he likes to take his time with his yeah. storytelling, as we've seen with the Bad Batch and the Clone Wars. Yeah, and even with Rebels. Yeah. He likes to take his time. He likes to let things, you know, build up and it gets really super juicy at the That's end. very true. I don't so, know. I feel like this episode was just kind of slow. But Robert Rodriguez is an executive producer, so he has more of a say in what's going on with this yeah. episode in, in the show. I don't know, man. I will look. It wasn't a good setup episode for the rest of the he, season. Yeah, so what so what I was missing from this, I feel like in Jabba's Palace, I know it was filmed during COVID and everything. I get it. And they were doing transition period or whatever, but you know, Jabba, Jabba's palace was always lit. Jabba always had the party going. There was they, always people. There was always, and I understand it's a transition period. Oh, well, for one, they're like gone now. No, I know. And two, I know. like Boba don't want to be around any people. I know. I get it. I get it. I just think it feels kind of weird being in Jabba's palace, and it, was, it feels so empty. It was weird, but I mean, it made sense. to me. It makes sense. Yes, I get it. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's not like I don't get it. It's just that I don't. I, I feel like I'm just. Uh, this just might be a nitpick. Okay, so just 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 tread tread lightly on 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 my in, on the insults for me. Um, but <laughs> it's fine. Say say what you want. But like. This is my opinion, y'all. Like, I just think that it was just, it just felt weird being a little empty, not as packed. I'm pretty sure it'll get packed later as he starts to build more alliances and starts to gain more friends. Because it's in the beginning. Like, he's now in a transition period. He now took over this thing. Like, he has to build loyalty. He has to build trust. He has to reestablish and solidify his place as the new as they say in the daimyo which is a, is a call a call back to again to the japanese yeah. uh influ influence in star wars so um so yes yeah, so, i mean it, it it's it'll be yeah it'll be, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be a cool transition i just feel like for again going back to the first episode of the mandalorian there was so much it was just a presence you know with this guy like mm -hmm. how he walked in I and mean, we, we 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 know boba already they don't need to do a whole thing the only thing is that they're just doing a flashbacks with kind of giving us more context yeah for what happened which i like yeah it was definitely needed but i feel like some of it like i don't know it just like dragged on a bit it felt the episode felt dull yeah I think that's, that's just like... how i feel <laughs> yeah there was i feel like there wasn't enough life it feels empty and again i know it's i know it's from during covid i get it right i don't think that for at least for me i don't think it was because of covid i felt like just the presence okay put it this way 
you, you could be right maybe it's not because of covid right i only bring up a covid thing because you know they have to like reduce set and yeah, how, many no, people are on, how many people are on screen at the same time so the lack of people in certain areas i mean then again at the at the club there was at there was mad people in there, yeah, there was. so maybe narratively just doesn't like as we've been saying maybe uh, like as you pointed out you know maybe boba just doesn't want to be around a lot of people and then also maybe he just doesn't like just he's still trying to establish his empire yeah he doesn't have a lot of a lot he doesn't have a lot of allies yet yeah he's, he's already making enemies yeah. the mayor already don't like him those people who chased out them is probably from the mayor yeah. You know, so but I just thought it was something something missing from the episode. Can't really put my like, finger on it. The fight was a little like me. The fight was meh. Like me not win stuff was good. Yeah. But like come on man, like this is Boba. So like like it's gotta be something narratively wrong with him in the story. Something yeah. has to be wrong with him why he's so thin. Cause it's just freaking Boba, dude. Yeah. He was popping off on them damn stormtroopers when he had his um when he was in his Tuscan Raider stuff and he had yeah. his like you know, he was doing this Mari style fighting and stuff. Like, yeah, there's something up. There's something wrong with Boba. Right? So I'm hoping that story wise, he's not 100% himself because something's just wrong with him. He went straight back to the healing pod because yeah. they said, take me back there. He wasn't. So I'm, I'm just going to blame it on the fact that maybe he's not 100% healed. Yeah. Fennec I mean, was fine. He is aging too, so maybe he's just like getting old and developing stuff too. But this is not long no, after. I know, but this is not long after. Um, he you know he had his thing with with um with uh with Din with uh. Yeah, no, Mando. I understand. You know I'm what just, saying? I'm saying it's a possibility. So we this man went from just like according to according to Sam, Millie whopping them stormtroopers. In the Mandalorian, yeah. and then to this. Now, I'm to look. Robert Rodriguez directed the episode with, um, with, uh, with Grogu when he was meditating, and the episode was fine, but it wasn't my favorite episode. Mm -hmm. I remember specifically not really liking that episode too much. Yeah, and I noticed every time I saw Robert Rodriguez's name on the episode, and then I re every time every Mandalorian episode that had him directing it, I realized that I didn't like it as much. Yeah. So. I don't know if I'm tripping. What else did he direct? Cause, cause he directed Alita, I believe, and I love Alita. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me see. I think he directed Alita, and I, lo I freaking love Alita. A lot of people didn't like it, but I love Alita. Yeah, Robert Rodriguez. Mm. He directed Alita, and I liked. I loved Alita so much. I still love Alita. I still yeah, love got, that film. Yeah, Alita stuff back yeah, there. Yeah, I own the film. I own the the the, the yeah. 4K. So the 4K the um the manga the pop back there. I got a I got a, a, a Alita shrine. <laughs> like I love I love the movie, so I feel like he did a good job on that. But for some reason, some of his Star Wars work, I just I don't know. Cause it, I mean, Alita was very like loyal to the um the manga. Yeah. I feel yeah, and the anime so, too. I feel like since this is like kind of different. It's, I don't know. Maybe it just. I don't know. And I don't know if I can fully blame Robert Rodriguez for this, though. Yo, what's up with everybody in the cowboy hats these days? Uh, it's like a thing. Even, even my boy, even Dylan rocking a cowboy hat now. Yeah. Let me see. What did he do? He did Spy Kids. He did, and the first Spy Kids was, was slappy, though. It was. Let's be real. He did Sin City. He did Machete. So, like, most of his other movies didn't do so well. He did the We Can Be Heroes movie mm -hmm. that one didn't do too bad but like i don't know what he did on kill bill because that was that's kill that was bill a, too. That, yeah yeah no that was a tarantino movie maybe he was he did music on it hmm. so you know so i mean i don't really know man did he did he actually direct spy kids he did yeah spy kids was slap was slappy you know, yeah, even even the critics gave it a ninety three on Rotten Tomatoes. Dude, it's literally a critically acclaimed movie. Yeah. Like on Netflix, it's in the critically acclaimed section. Yeah, Spy like, Kids is Spy Kids is a good movie. Spy Kids is a masterpiece. Spy Kids is a good movie. So, but anyways, back to Mandalorian and Robert Rodriguez. I mean, I just, I just, he did this too, from Dust Till Dawn. I don't know what that is. I think Tarantino's in this movie. Yeah, there he is. Mm. George Clooney. Yeah, um, I don't know. Something. Yeah. 
something just wasn't sitting right. Yeah, man. I, I don't know, man. Like, it wasn't, like, bad. Like, it was fine. It just, you know. It was okay. Yeah. It wasn't a horrible episode. I just feel like yeah. some of the, that Star Wars charm. Mm-hmm. I mean, again, shout out to Boston Dynamics, though. Getting their yeah, that was really getting good. their little then their robot in there yeah, because I love that robot thing. I, I was know. wondering when we're gonna see it in things, but I guess they they found a way to actually get use out of that robot, mm -hmm. which is pretty freaking cool. Yeah, it's probably like a like a cameo type thing. Be like, yeah, or hey. it's like a contracted you know yeah way to innovate the technology used on yeah, screen. Yeah, because I mean it works. Yeah, you know Star Wars, you got droids and stuff. So. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I don't know. This episode was okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I wanna. I'm. I'm probably gonna rewatch it in the background while I uh, edit this. So, I mean, obviously, I'm editing it, so I'll get the chance to watch it again. But then I'll probably have it on the background, and then because I gotta edit some other stuff today. But I. I, I want to watch it again, man. I want to watch it. Yeah. I'll probably watch it on TV or something. Take a break and watch it again because it's like 36 minutes. I'll probably watch it again. Probably fit that in there. I want to watch it again. I want to watch it again because it's like we could just be like tired and be like, oh no, it's we could just be tripping completely. But... I don't think I am. I think I don't I'm, think I think so I'm of a sane but... mind. I just the, the, in, this episode just didn't drag me in. Yeah. As the Bad Batch episode one, as Mandalorian season two episode one dragged me in. Yeah. Uh, the Mandalorian episode one dragged me in. The like, Clone Wars season even, seven, um, you know. Yeah, like all of those dragged you in. Cause I mean, like, there's like going just to a different like franchise. Uh, Daredevil episode one. Yeah. That one drew me in like crazy. Oh yeah. This one, I'm kind of just like, it's okay. I feel, but for some reason, I feel like the show for a first episode needs to be really strong yeah i feel like it needs to be really strong just to kind of give you a taste because daredevil yeah. did that daredevil give you a really first like action-packed show you this guy what he could do yeah and then, but... they, and then they kind of tapered off a little bit to kind of give you a more slower story burn yeah and then kind of brought you back more but into you know, the action just looking at what like the trailer was this is kind of what i expected and it's like kind of upsetting. This I'm, like, felt like the trailer. <laughs> yeah, and I'm like the trailer was just like okay. Yeah. Like it wasn't anything exciting, and like it's really disappointing because I want to love this show and. and it's only know, episode it, one. It's, it's only, only episode, episode one, one, so we'll have so to, we'll have I to just, wait. I just hope that they, you know, amp it up a bit in the next episode because I don't know. I feel like people are only gonna watch this after episode one just. To see where it goes and for boba i feel like a lot of people if by episode three it don't hit they're not gonna watch it again yeah you know i'm gonna watch for completion sake i'm a star wars purist <laughs> like and i mean that in a positive way not in a not in a not in a negative way like i'm not i i i, I you're a star wars completionist i'm I, i'm a star wars fan i just love star wars in general so yes yeah. i will watch anything star wars whether it's visions whether it's whatever like because, again, Visions, Star Wars Visions, the first episode was mad strong, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, there's definitely some weak ones in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 but... absolutely. There's absolutely. Probably only four of those that I really liked, yeah. to be honest. But, like, the point is, is, you know, I expected a little more. And I'm going to tread lightly because it's only episode one. I am very happy that we have a Boba Fett series. Yeah. I'm very happy that we have more Star Wars content leading, it up, leading us into the new year. Episode two drops is gonna be twenty twenty two. Yeah. So this is gonna be a twenty twenty two show. Technically. Yeah, they so, really got it right at the end to yeah. say it's twenty twenty one. Yeah, no, it's twenty twenty two show for sure. You know, it drops in twenty one. So it's it's um. Let's wait till next episode. Yeah. Let's see what happens. No, I'm definitely and... gonna give it another like chance. I'm gonna give it like a few episodes to you know really see where it's going i'm watching we, like I we're gonna finish you. i'm watching the whole thing no we're gonna finish uh, it but i'm saying to like kind of form a f like an yeah opinion. i don't want to wait till like episode six and then they're like okay now the yeah, now the show is good yeah like we're only having seven episodes you have seven episodes to next episode needs to be better than this yeah one. it I mean, needs to be 
if you think about it, seven episodes isn't really a lot. You, like, you have to do a lot in that small amount of time. Especially only, like, 36 minutes? Yeah, like, there's not, you know... But isn't Mandalorian Part 1, like, only, like, six episodes anyway? I think so, but they had a lot of development within the... It's... I don't, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know why we're asking questions. We can just look. Man, I really freaking hope that it picks up. It's they had eight, episodes. see? Eight for completion. And they were all like 46 minutes episodes minus yeah. this one. Eight. Yeah, they were both eight. Eight minutes. I mean, eight minutes. Eight episodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I, I mean, look, man. I enjoyed Mad Warrior season one more than season two minus the, um, the cameos we got. Yeah. Because the cameos made season two really great. Season two start. I mean, season two of Mandalorian, it started out pretty strong. The Marshall episode was pretty dope. We had yeah. the sand, we had the the Dune Sandworm fight. Yeah, there was a lot Tusken of Tusken Raiders and. Well, even going back season one, because you know, for comparative sake. Yeah, I mean, episode one. Episode I mean, one was much stronger than Boba episode one. Yeah, man. I don't know, dog. Who directed episode one? Was it Rodriguez? It'd be so funny if it was him. That would be so funny. It'd be really funny if it was him, dog. Was it Rick? No, no, it was Dave Filoni. That's yeah. freaking why. <laughs> like, like which episode? Okay, I'm curious now. Um, I'm trying to see who directed what episode specifically. I don't, I'm not trying to make this video long, but I don't feel like finding an article that has all who that. Man, Wikipedia, I think Wikipedia has who directed the episodes. Hold on. I think so. Yeah, The Mandalorian episode one. I mean, ep oh, just season one, season one. Mandalorian season one. Trying to see who directed what episode. And then, and I'll know if I liked it or not. Yeah. Dave Filoni. All right. Yeah, man, like... My man, Rodriguez wasn't on any of these. Yeah, he was not on anything. Season like, one. directing, like, Rick, uh, uh, Fam Famuyua, Fam sorry, Famuyua did such an amazing job. Like, episode two was one of my favorites. That was when we, I got the introduction of, um, of my man, uh, uh, I Have Spoken. Yeah, Quill. Cool. Uh, Quill, cool, yeah. And then we had, uh, Deborah Chow, and she's doing yeah. Obi-Wan, so we already yeah. know that's set. Not that episode was was fire. <laughs> like, and then Bryce Dallas Howard has been really stepping up her directing game. Sanctuary is one of my favorites, parallel to to Seven Samurai. Mm -hmm. And and because the story was pretty much the same story, but it was a nice take on the story, which is pretty dope. The Gunslinger episode, we got Dave Filoni on that. Rick from you again for the Prisoner, which is also one of my favorite episodes. That was, that was the one with great they, Man, the Prisoner, yeah. I think, is probably my. Okay, if I'm really now I'm looking back at it, the person is probably my favorite episode. Mm -hmm. Season one was so good, dude. It and was. It, like, it was so good, man. Like, it was so good, man. Oh my god, it's just hurting me. Um, then Deborah Chow again for episode seven. You know, I think if um Boba came and then Taika out, with number eight. I mean, I think if Boba came out before the Mandalorian, there was nothing to compare it to. Yeah, we might have had a different opinion. Yeah. Let's go to season two real quick. And guys, I'm not trying to be that guy, but I just gotta be honest here, bro. That's just how it feels. That's what you're I here mean, for, in my can't opinion. Really help, but um, compare it. You know. Sorry, Peyton Reed, I think, was the one that did Ant Man. Did uh, season two, episode two, The Passenger, which is a pretty, it's a pretty decent episode. Yeah. It was one of my favorite one, but it was pretty decent. Um, Bryce Dallas Howard. <laughs> did the third one and that yes, episode was, that was freaking amazing, amazing. Yeah. with uh with bo katan showing up yeah um carl weathers uh keep forgetting his character's name uh Cle uh what's his name again um uh, grief cleef grief carga grief yes he directed the episode mm. and that episode was pretty good siege they feloni did the jedi of course. of course. I mean, Ahsoka's episode. He couldn't not do that. One. You know, and then Robert Rodriguez did the tragedy, which was not my favorite episode yeah. of the season. I I'm, I told everybody this. I'm going to back to my reaction. I did have moments that I liked, 
with the dark that's, troopers. I think that's the thing. He has moments, but as a whole, it's just like it's okay. Man, I hope he's not doing the entire season. I hope we're getting other directors for season two. I, I I can't remember if they actually if they said that or not. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Um... Rick Famuyiwa did The Believer, which is a really good episode. And The Rescue was directed by Peyton Reed, which is honestly amazing with um with Luke showing up. <coughs> Jeez. Like <laughs> like I don't freaking know, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. The tragedy like just skipping through the episode real quick, it had its moments yeah, that was I... Okay. Um Robert Rodriguez directed two further episodes of the series while John Favreau, Bryce Dallas Howard, Dave Filoni, Steph Green, and Kevin Tankerin were also reported to have directed episodes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, God. So I think it's just him. Thank you, God. Because I would have been worried. Because look. The episode, like the scene, the, the best part about the episode was the dark troopers. Was the was the dark troopers Boba going Millie whopping these stormtroopers, yeah. right? That was fantastic. He did a good job with that. Um, but the, I like how. Um, a matter of fact, I actually think I said I actually think I said I liked it. But then as I, after I spoke to Dylan, it was when I was like my opinion shifted because Dylan was like, "Yo, why does this episode feel like a school project?" And I'm like, "Yo, you know what? You right." And then, like, I went back and rewatched it. I'm like, yo, you kind of right. Like, almost like a fan film. It feels like a fan film. Yeah, I can definitely see it for that episode. Even though it had really cool moments, like Grogu meditating, um, Boba Fett Millie whopping. Um, I mean, what's it called? The uh, the Razor Crest getting destroyed wasn't wasn't fun, but it was a big part of the story. Yeah. You know, and, and so it had its moments, the dark troopers showing down, and then we got that revelation of them canonizing the them canonizing the um the uh <laughs> Boba and Django being an actual Mandalorian. Yeah. So I mean we had some really cool moments in this episode. But I, yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I hope because it's not confirmed, it's a reported that yeah. there are other directors. I'm so hoping. I guess we will find out. I hope so. Um, because the episode was just okay. So yeah. hopefully, you know, next episode is a different director. <laughs> yeah, man. To kind of, you know. But even if it's Robert Rodriguez, I hope it's better. Yeah. Than this episode. Yeah. No, I think so. something about his directing style just isn't hitting for me. Yeah, man. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be that dude, but like... <laughs> Yeah. When they announced that he was gonna do Boba Fett or like he was an executive producer for Boba Fett, I was really worried. I was really worried. Yeah. You know? Just because I remember having uh some mixed feelings about it. I'm gonna guys, I'm gonna rewatch the episode and then I'm probably post on Twitter if I change my opinion. But Yeah, I don't know. It just wasn't the best first episode, in my opinion. Yeah, me too, man. I agree. So um, yeah, there's not much more that we can say without, yeah. uh, repeating ourselves. I mean, I did, the things I did like, I did like them establishing, uh, Boba, you know, trying to build his business relations. You know, backstory that was the, needed. Yeah, the backstory about how he, how he got out the Sarlacc pit. Yeah. Um, you know, the Tuscan, how he gained favor with the Tuscan mm -hmm. Raiders was pretty cool. We got an introduction of a new creature. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like new creatures. I won't say no to them. Yeah. I like them expanding the lore with the creatures. So I'm fine with that. We got a new version of, of the Cantina Band theme, so which is pretty dope. Doesn't be yeah. the original, but you know, it's a nice adaptation or reference to it at least. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean, Fennec Shan is Fennec Shan. It's just like I mean, come on, we need she's the like master assassin. She can't be getting Millie Whopping. Yeah, she honestly. gotta be the one doing the Millie Whopping. So, yeah. so, so yeah, man. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just wrap it up. Yeah, we're wrapping up here. Yeah. But, um, yeah, make sure you guys go check out part one on Matthew's channel. Link will be in the description below. And yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, if you like what you see. Comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was and your thoughts on the episode as a whole. Um, if you differ from our opinion or have yeah. the same opinion. Um, but yeah, make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post as well. And the full reaction will be on Patreon. So 
make sure you go check that out link in the, in the description below but that's it for us we'll see you guys next time bye, bye.